How is your son and he, Axel, right? Yes. He's how old? He's three and a half, almost exactly three and a half now. That's a cute age, huh? Yeah. Is he good? Did he go through the terrible twos? I think threes are, are, are a little bit more challenging than twos. He's a good kid, but he's all boy, man. He is all boy. A lot of energy. Yeah, I saw a t-shirt the other day that said, uh, it was for kids, and it said, terrible twos? I'm having a great time. <laughs> And that's kind of it. They don't yeah. know they're having a. They don't know that they're terrible. They're just having a blast, you no. know. And so he's, uh, yeah, he's awesome. He's, he's, he's all about spooky stories, taking sticks from the park and turning them into stuff. I mean, we literally have a pile of sticks at our house. We could have a giant bonfire at any moment. He just collects sticks. He collects sticks, and, the, and to him, they're they're something. Like he doesn't want to go anywhere without them because they're either a sword or their magic wand or they're, you know. Whatever. And he even, the other day, remember, they just showed the clip of me and the Lloyd Christmas Dumb and Dumber? Right. That uh, You guys gave me a cane with that from the movie he, you know, whacks Harry in the back of the knee. Well, you guys gave me one. He thinks that's his magic wand now. So, like, he's completely taken that over. So, oh, you know, he's, he's old boy. I don't really know what else to say. And I'm not sure, you know, we make, <laughs> we make a lot, we make a lot of uh, questionable parenting decisions. I think I have no idea what the hell I'm doing half the time. Well, I mean, I don't think anybody does. Look at us all, how we I turned mean, out. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Seriously. Who's, who's I mean, more strict, you or Fergie? She's definitely more uh, evolved than I am and, and more patient. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been, uh, but I'm, you know, I feel like I'm much more, you know, having a kid when I was 40 years old is much different than having one at 22. So I'm, right. you know, a little bit more mature than I was then. Uh, I'm just doing the best I can, trying to, you know, not screw yeah. him up for life. So you, so, well, I'm sure you're not screwing him up for life. You never know. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Transformers. So, okay. so uh, this one is about what? Uh, well, okay, so the, the, the really cool thing about this one is that it, it really gets into the history of Transformers mm -hmm. and how long they've been around and how sort of involved they were in, you know, big his, historical events, mm -hmm. uh, all based on a true story, by the way. Um, <laughs> you, we, we finally figured out how Stonehenge got there. Well, I was, was going to say... Alien robots. I, well, that, that does make sense. It does. Because they're very heavy, and how they did that, we don't know. We have no I idea. saw a picture of you at Stonehenge, which must be amazing in person to see that. I've never been there. Well, that's one of the beauties of doing these movies, is you get a chance to see things I'd never... I would have never been to Stonehenge either. Yeah. And I got to see it, and, and that dude was there. That's Anthony Hopkins. I mean, how often is that going to happen? You go to Stonehenge and Anthony Hopkins. You is just there. ran into him. No, there. he was actually in the movie, but <laughs> still. So that was really cool because I got to actually. He, Ian Bryce, the amazing Ian Bryce, uh, uh, was able to get us access to go inside this place and actually walk around inside. And it, wow. it's, it's it's something else. Yeah, I bet because I mean, really, how did they do that? That's just. I don't know, and I don't. There's 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 all kinds of theories, but it's uh, it's it's a fascinating place. Yeah. There, there is something really energetic about it. I'm There's sure.